Hello and welcome back to the Becky Knits podcast, or welcome if you're new. Um, it's been a little while, um, but that's just the way things are, I guess. Um, my knitting mojo really like took a dive, um, like in June and July and the beginning of August. <laughs> so um, I've really not been knitting very much at all. So I hadn't really had anything to talk to you about, but I feel like I'm kind of getting back into my knitting groove. And um, so I've got a few things to show you. So let's get on with it. I don't even know where to start. Maybe I'll start with my summer sock camp socks. Um, I had I had some fairly realistic goals for summer sock camp. I wanted to do three pairs of socks. Um, that was like a pair of socks a month for sock camp and I thought that was like really achievable because I was definitely in sort of like April and May I was definitely knitting enough to get two pairs of socks out, uh, three pairs of socks out over the course of sock camp but as I said my knitting mojo just kind of evaporated um, and um, I really didn't get very much knitting done at all so this is what I have to show it's probably a bit tangled this is what I have to show for summer sock camp 2021 <clears throat> so this is it I was going to knit these I, I have been knitting these socks um, sort of two at a time but on double pointer needles so I'm just just got two socks but I am like knitting the cuff of one and then the cuff of the other and I've actually really um I'm actually halfway through a row here I'm really enjoying this um like way of knitting a pair of a pair of socks because I kind of feel like you know when I'm knitting the ribbing I'm in the groove for knitting ribbing so then switching over and knitting the ribbing for the second sock is not um like a problem I can just knit some more rib and I did seem to knit quite short uh legs but that's fine I wear them short anyway um so yeah and this it looks a bit of a mess because they're just all so tangled <laughs> um but um this is my hand dyed yarn that I dyed for myself for sock camp so there it is and I'm really enjoying it I got my um my sock camp um progress keeper on there and my TARDIS progress keeper this one hasn't got anything on just the markers um but yeah so they, I'm really enjoying them and like I say it was just a case of <clears throat> mojo just disappeared for any kind of knitting so they kind of fell off but I have picked them up a little bit um the past couple of weeks to start working on them again so working on those I might be able to get those finished by the end of the month if I put them I'm going to put them on the sofa now so that I can work on them this afternoon uh, then another sock which I've cast on since after I've started those ones that I was kind of not considering a sock camp sock because I kind of felt like I was backing out of sock camp. I don't really know why. Um, but um, this was just a, I want to knit and I don't want to knit anything that I've got cast on at the moment. So no guilt, just knitting. Oh, once again, I'm halfway through a row. Um, and this is uh, another one of my hand dyed yarns. This is my Fruit Loops colorway, uh, which I really, really, really love, and uh, and it's knitting up so nicely. I love how it's knitting up, and I'm just going to knit these. Um, I I might do a contrasting heel flap and toe, but I don't know. I just quite like how they are, um, how they're working up. So uh, yeah, happy with that. It's just a plain, plain ordinary sock, sixty four stitches on. Um, on US 1 2.25 mil and yeah what else do I need to say I've got my um 
What's the name of this? Three Moon Knits. My little gnome, knitting gnome. I don't know if you're actually going to be able to see him. There he is. He's knitting a little sock. He's adorable and it just, he looks perfect on this sock. I don't know, his colour, I got the kind of turquoisey blue and his colour is just lovely on the sock. So, yep. Yeah. That's those. I'm kind of enjoying these ones, I think, because I don't even have to think about changing any colours or anything like that. It feels even easier than the other one, the other the other pair. And I guess because it's just the one sock, I don't have to think, oh, once I've finished the cuff of this sock, then I have to go and do the cuff of the second sock. And it is inside my um, the Fibre Fox project bag, uh, which I treated myself to as like a a sock camp gift. I had a nice pretty bag to put my sock camp socks in. Um, so uh, I really love this. It's just so springy summery to me. So yeah. My other project that I have picked back up again after hibernating it and then forgetting where I was up to um, is my summer Sorrel. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, we're getting towards the end of summer now, sad face. Uh, so yeah, but I think, um, I think I'm still going to be able to wear it into autumn. So hopefully we'll be able to get some wear out of it. And the yarn is uh, the Skin the Stitch, her tropical fish. Away. I think it's called now when I bought it it was called confetti but she's made it a part of her range and called it tropical fish and I definitely I definitely see the tropical fish in there so yeah I'm really loving this it's like even though it looks complicated it's super straightforward and the pattern is really well written so it's easy to follow um yeah I'm, I'm loving it I'm loving it so that's that one. I've definitely got just like zero whip guilt at the moment. I'm just starting things as and when I want to and embracing it. Um, because why not? And then the last whip that I'm going to show you is in my um, Ghana basket. I think it was from Ghana. Um, this is one of the ones that, that a homespun house used to sell um, and I really love them and I, I say this every time but I wish I had bought more when she was stocking them but there we go. And in here I have got, I haven't got the ball bands which is naughty of me but I know that the, right, so the uh, four ply is Vivacious Four Ply from Fibre Spates in the blush colourway uh, 623. And it's kind of a, almost like a rose gold. That's what it makes me think of. But it's just a very delicate, more like sil silvery pink. I'd say this is a fairly good uh, representation of what it is. But I think that's really pretty. And then the mohair is Sheepies Mohair in Robotic 674. And I am holding them together which is not something I've done before. This is my first mohair four ply <laughs> thing uh, and I am knitting a little pullover. It's the uh, teddy bear sweater by Petite Neat Knits and it's so much fun. Uh, I'm knitting this for, I'm getting really ahead of myself and knitting this for my friend's little girl for her Christmas present. So there it is. And then you like sew a bare face on um, at the end. So yeah, I'm just working the raglan shaping at the moment and thoroughly enjoying every moment of it. I've got my little, um, to do this again, where I can figure out how to, there we go. It's a little like bauble full of stars. Uh, this was from my The Lonely Knitter Christmas in July advent calendar. And um, yeah, it's just so soft. 
and I just I'm really really enjoying knitting it and it's small and again easy easy knitting so yeah and I actually did a swatch as well if you believe it and I mean I ignored the swatch almost completely but I did the swatch <laughs> so when it all goes horribly wrong I'll know why but um, my gauge was so close um so close that I was like I'm happy I'm happy with it <laughs> I could regret that later we'll see so that is it and I don't have any whips to show you I have nothing oh I've got some more post I'll show you my post so I've got some yarn acquisitions I bought um five skeins of where West Yorkshire Thinners Fleece, five of those in the Fossil colourway, which is this really nice dark slaty grey. Um, yeah. And then I bought one skein each of the Forest and Umber. And I am going to make, oh, I want to say Dogwood, but I'll put the name of it down down at the bottom so that you can um, go and have a look for yourself. It's a, um, and now I can't even remember who the designer is either, so I'll put that down here, but I'm gonna knit two of them for, one for each of my sons, and one of them will be like main body gray, and then the color work will be in the green, and then the other will be in the orange. I haven't decided which one I'm gonna do for which child yet, and I do need to choose that. Um, Rory, my youngest, has got red hair, so I'm kind of like, will the orange, like, enhance that or clash? <laughs> um, I'm wondering whether he might look, he might look good in the green. And then Aiden, who is blonde, more blondy, might look good in the kind of rust, browny orange. I don't know maybe I need to hold them next to the children so that we can see um so yeah those are going to be probably Christmas presents for them so yeah oh, it smells nice it smells like just a little bit sheepy but not like really sheepy and it's soft too but not like not like super soft but just not scratchy you know Sorry, just while I just excuse me. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's it. That's, that's my plan, um, and that, that, that's what I'm working on. So yeah, um, I did buy something from Skein and the Stitch as well. I I, I got a, a skein of one of her um, birthstone colorways in a DK and my plan is to make um I got the June birthstone can't remember what that's called aqua something um and my plan is to make um socks for the boys because they are both June babies so I'm gonna make some DK socks which I've not done before and everybody seems to be knitting DK socks at the moment and I want in on that so I'm gonna make a pair of socks each for the boys uh, probably like welly socks, so they're just going to be like ribbed tubes because it's going to get cold and they both go to an outdoor nursery, so they're going to need warm socks in their wellies. And um, if you knit a, just a ribbed tube, then they fit for ages. So that's my plan. That's my plan. Um... Right, so the only other thing really that I have to announce is that um, I'll be uploading another video either today or tomorrow about a knit along that I am going to be running called Six Sock September. So um, do check that out if you are not done with knitting socks. If you just need to crank out a few more socks, then uh, Six Sock September is the sock knit along for you. <laughs> so um 
yeah, basically the aim of the knit along is to knit six socks during September, who would have thought? So I will go into detail about like the rules and things like that in the other video, but if you are interested in uh, following along or joining in with that knit along, it will be a an Instagram knit along because I know that a lot of people can't use Ravelry. I might do a, a thread on my podcast group on Ravelry for anybody that is able to use it, but the, the main um, sort of bulk of all of the stuff that I will do with the knit along will be on Instagram. So uh, just so that you're aware and um, yeah, so I'm excited about that. So that will start on the 1st of September and run for the whole of September and there will be a prize or prizes. I don't know how um, many people are going to join in and how many people are, are going to want prizes. So I'm kind of leaving the like the S in brackets to maybe disappear if we only have a small number of us. Um, but yeah, there will be there will be at least a giveaway um, for people who complete the knit along. Um, and maybe if we're like, yeah, maybe if we get really into it, then I'll do like just a, a giveaway for people that join, join in even if they don't finish. But there will definitely be a prize for one person who finishes at least, if that makes sense. Uh, but do check out that other video. I will leave a link to it somewhere. Um, if I can <laughs> and um, yeah if you're interested like join in I'm excited to do this one I, it's a knit along that I've done before um, probably 10 years ago I think this I think this year might be like the 10 10 year anniversary of the first six of September um, maybe it's maybe that was last year maybe I missed it but um, yeah so it, it's it's exciting. I, I, it's a knit along that I did a couple, like a couple of years of, and the second year was like amazing. So many people joined in over on Ravelry, and it was so much fun. And um, yeah, we had like a a sock pattern and things like that. It was it was really great. And then I just um, I kind of dropped the ball on it the, the following year, so um, it kind of fizzled out. But I'm gonna try and bring it back this year and then maybe next year when I've got time to think about it a bit more then um, we can have it bigger or something I don't know <laughs> we'll see but everyone loves knitting socks right so yeah so yes but do go and check out that video that will be a bit more hopefully coherent though no promises uh, and there'll be there will be more information in that video and less verbal diarrhea so yeah, and there'll also be uh, a couple of other whips over in that video as well. So if you just like looking at all of the projects I'm working on, then you can go and pick up a couple of extra whips over there. So yes, um, I don't think there is anything else I wanted to say. Um, yeah, life stuff, I don't know. My youngest has just started at nursery, which is exciting and also very sad because right now there is there are no children in my house and I'm very sad about that <laughs> but um but also means I can record a podcast and I don't have to kick a child away or you know do it during nap time and be quiet so um yeah yeah so I'm hoping I don't want to promise anything and I'm going to touch something wooden but um hopefully this means that I'll be able to get back into a bit of a podcasting routine which I was really wanting to do um so there's that and then the other thing which my husband suggested that I mention so that there's some sort of like accountability is that um from the 1st of September maybe from the first, or maybe from tomorrow depending on whether or not I feel I need to wait until the 1st of September or whether I need to just start now um I'm going to be running a mile a day I know that doesn't seem like a lot and I know that doesn't seem like a sort of a big deal, but like, I just need to get out and do some exercise, but I don't feel like I have the time to commit to do like a big long run 
and I don't want to do a lot of running like I don't really enjoy running <laughs> but um but I do want to get out for a little bit of time uh, every day and do a little bit of exercise so I'm gonna run a mile a day for a month and see how that feels um and just go from there and it might, it might be that some days I feel like I'm doing okay and I can go a bit further but that's not the point of it the point isn't go out and run the, the idea is that I run for a mile and no more but yeah um I've tried like the couch to 5k and I just can't do it <laughs> the like the breaks in the running so when it says like run for a minute I run for a minute and then it gets to the like now we'll start walking and I'm like I don't want to I just keep running um because if I stop running then I get really tired <laughs> so I get like more tired stopping and starting than I would if I just kind of ran a bit more so yeah I think I run too quickly in the running bits and so just basically like wear myself out but yeah so I just want to go out and run for a mile and we'll see how we do that's it running for a mile for a month so yeah, I can't decide, like, there's part of my brain that's like, starting on the 1st of September makes sense because then you're doing it every day for September and it's like organised, it's like neat to do it from like the 1st to the 30th, like that just feels like the most logical option to, to do it from the 1st of September. But there's another part of me that's like, I have had this like idea and I want to start it now so would it not be better for me to just run every day until the 20th of September and and go do it like that instead? Like start now and run until the 20th of September. And then another part of my brain is like, well, yeah, let's do that. Let's start now, but let's not start now. Let's start on Monday because then it's like a, mon a Monday and that's a nice place to start. I like, to, I like things to start at like nice times, Mondays. I really like it when months start on a Monday. Those months are always really good. <laughs> and I was like, oh, maybe I could wait until there's a month that starts on a Monday. And then I could run for a month and it would start on a Monday, but I'd have to wait until November. And that seems like a long time to wait. I would definitely be bored of the idea by November. So we'll see, maybe I'll start tomorrow. Maybe I'll start on the 1st of September yet to decide so anyway I think I've talked about running for longer than I talked about knitting <laughs> but there we go so thank you very much for watching um check out that other video head over to my Instagram account where I'll be posting about socks for well a lot because I knit a lot of socks so yep head over there give me a follow there will be a hashtag for six socks September that information will be in that other video so that's definitely the place to go for all of the six sock September information. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching and hopefully I will see you soon.